What is up guys, Lord Respawn here. Welcome to Pokemon Day. Scarlet and Violet Gen 9 has officially been announced. And what we're doing in this video is going over all of the information that we know about the game. We are gonna go through the website, which literally just launched minutes ago. And then we are also gonna watch the trailer in super slow-mo, go through all of the details that we can possibly find and just embrace ourselves and, and ingrain ourselves in Pokemon Gen 9, everything that we know right now. So as you can see, Pokemon Scarlet and Violet live on the website arriving in late 2022 that is huge that is huge so Pokemon Scarlet and Violet are the newest chapters in the Pokemon series coming later this year with this new uh, titles it is going to be an evolutionary step so building on Arceus to explore freely in a richly expressed open world you love to see it you've got all of these different screenshots and these are all going to be in the videos um, or the the trailer that we watch but this is big this is big right here various towns blend seamlessly into the wilderness with no borders so unlike rcs where everything you know you had to go to a certain location it seems like there's no borders in this game you can just go wherever you want think breath of the wild that's incredible You'll also be able to see Pokemon uh, in the sky, seas, forest, streets, all over. So Pokemon are actually all over the place. I wonder, you know, maybe we'll be able to catch Pokemon in the streets. Obviously, you know, we've seen that at times in the anime, but it has never really been a thing where catching Pokemon in a town in Pokemon to this point in the games. So you'll be able to battle against wild Pokemon, obviously. In an open world game that players of any age can enjoy. So they are really honing in on this open world aspect of the game because they know how much we love it and all of that. So now we have Meet Your First Partner Pokemon. These are going to be the starters. And we'll just scroll down to right here. And you can see this is it. This is the Grass Water Fire Pokemon. You have, and I'm going to butcher these names, so let me know in the comments what the names are. Sprigatito, which is a grass kitty. You've got Foycoco, which is a fire croc. And you have Quaxly, the duckling Pokemon. Now, the most memeable Pokemon in this, and that is currently blowing up Twitter, is Quaxly. He's just stunting on everybody. I mean, you can't even... It, it's unreal. It's unreal. Um, ability for the grass type, Overgrow. Fire, Blaze, and Torrent for the Duckling Pokemon. I mean, this is going to be interesting. This is going to be interesting. Their final evolutions are going to be nuts. I, I'm just so excited. But here are the main characters in the game. So your outfit uh, is going to vary based on if you play Scarlet or Violet. So let me know in the comments. Are you guys Team Scarlet or Team Violet? Who knows? Who knows? I'm leaning Violet personally because that is my colors. Um... If you if you've been following me for a while, you will know that. But here's the different uh, in-game aspect of the characters, and that is going to be everything from a website perspective, from a what they've posted on their site. So now let's jump into the trailer and look at everything. Okay, so here we are in the trailer. I skipped ahead because the, the intro was like very uh, you know long and, and boring. So here we are jumping into the actual trailer of Scarlet and violet and we're going to pause this as we find cool stuff and talk about it you know it's about two minutes long beyond here and we're playing it at roughly half speed but just starting out i mean you can see this is the first shot that we get this is that image that we're you know that introduced us to violet and scarlet and just taking this in i mean you've got an open area similar to like obsidian field lands if you will you've got a Looks to be a, a snow peak in the top right. You've got a rainbow up top. I don't know if that has to do with maybe a legendary. Looks like you've got some sort of uh, research lab or something there in the distance. And then you've got a rocky terrain, not snow covered, on the left hand side. And then going back to the far right, looks to be a desert, um, potentially area to the right. One thing to also note here, you have a Pokemon Center right in the front there. As well as it looks to be one over here on the right side. And then I guess we can kind of 
uh, move on from there. But we have this this building, in, you know, in that distance is going to be obviously a big part of the game. Gigantic lake region. I mean, it tons of water Pokemon are, are going to be in this game. But I love the variety, you know, that they're showing here. They show us the nighttime. They show us different peaks. It'll be interesting how we, you know, interact with the environment and, and maybe climb around. Um, flying, things like that. Different, and, and again, they're showing different types of, you know, nighttime, daytime. They're showing a foggy aspect of it. You can see another Pokemon Center. And then that main building again that we've seen throughout the video. I mean, th this main town looks looks incredible. And, you know, here we are just going through. You see the Starly flying as, as the camera comes through. I don't know what this is. Those look like windmills, actually, um, out there in the distance. But another Pokemon Center. So it looks like Pokemon Centers are going to be scattered throughout the region, which is kind of cool. I like that. You know, you're out in your adventure. You can hit a Pokemon Center. Definitely, definitely very cool. Over on the left here, we can see a cave. Who knows what that's going to be. Um, you can see more Pokemon flying in the air. Looks like we can climb up some of these. More Pokemon um, chilling on the on the hill here. You've got Psyduck playing in the rain. Looks like a, a marshy area, similar to what we've seen in Arceus. A little nighttime shot as well. Here, this looks to be um, probably a sun sunrise shot, maybe. But again, you see Pokemon flying around similar to Arceus. So it's like they took, you know gameplay mechanics from pokemon legends and put it into uh this game which is incredible we've got meowth kind of walking near the uh looks to be a town pretty pretty close but he got meowth just chilling whatever team rocket is in this game who knows but that that is that is so cool you've got stone Jorner, i think is his name i always get it wrong uh in a desert region so there is a vast desert region in the game you can see multiple of them. Looks like some ruins or something. And then water. Looks to be a water feature out in the distance. Hard to tell. Obviously hard to tell. You've got Pelipper walking on the beach. Obviously you have that beach aspect of the game. And then we get into the town. And we've got Pokemon in the town like they mentioned. A massive town square. Looks to be some shops over here. And then, you know, obviously like every Pokemon game, every Nintendo game, the giant staircase leads to somewhere important. We know that it's going to happen. Pikachu confirmed. That's pretty obvious. But he's in, he's in the middle of, of the, the plaza there. So, you know, you've got Pokemon sleeping, Blissey sleeping underneath a tree. Looks to be something, you know, that we can hopefully gather some of the berries or whatever that is in the tree. You've got the um, serpent Pokemon, and I forget, isn't it Superior or something like that? Uh you know, just kind of chilling. You've got the grass. You got the cave. Looks to be a magnemite somewhere out in the distance. I wonder what that is up top. Who knows? We shall see. You've got Lucario showing some moves there, showing off his ability. And then we have again. This is that main thing where something is going to go down in the game. This looks to be a mansion of some kind. And again, you've got the berries in the tree and Dratini. So question is: Is Dratini Dragonite going to be a big part of this game? It's obviously something. It's obviously something, but this little mansion or manor is going to be incorporated into the game as a place to hang out. Something that has to do with like the types of the Pokemon. That is interesting. You know, what does that mean? You know, we got fairy, we got uh, steel, fire, water, grass, bug. What does that mean? Why are we showing that? You know, it looks like there's some street vendors as well. That's obviously got something to do with the game. And then you have... Again, panning out to this plaza. So something, th this plaza is going to be a big deal, you know, because they keep showing it and it's almost like a gathering point, you know, for, for a place for people to be. So who knows? Who knows? This is going to be your, what appears to be your player home. I love the vibrancy of it. I, I love the colors uh, that we're seeing in this game. I love that it's like a, a little, you know, just like a giant yard. Um, it just look, it looks very homey. Right, like th this looks like a, a fantastic place with the water view and the palm trees. I mean, that and it also vegetables. I don't know what that means. I think it might be just for show. A little Animal Crossing there. What? Uh, here's a new character running up the hill, and it looks like 
side note, it looks like that Dratini Manor is actually your neighbor. So I wonder what that has to do with anything. Inside, a lot going on here, a lot going on here. You've got the windmills, you've got kind of dancing. So is this maybe like a South American vibe uh, to the game? That's kind of what I'm getting, a um, little South America. And then you've got, you know, Pikachu. I'm just trying to see if there's anything. You've got a Switch, obviously, Pokemon Tree. Here is a quick look at the side map. Um, we don't know, obviously, if that is going to be something of value or what that's going to be. But, you know, you've got the Switch there referencing it. And then we get back to um, kind of the main, the main aspect of this. And then we're going to kind of go forward. And then they're going to show the starter Pokemon. And, you know, obviously people um, have opinions. I, I think it's been, you know, relatively positive since they've announced the starter Pokemon. I think, you know, I, I think they've done a pretty good job um, overall. I think, you know, the third evolution is going to be what kind of helps people decide which way they're going to lean. Uh, let me know in the comments, though. Are you grass, fire, water? Let me know. I, you know, I'm very interested to see how the community is is reacting uh, to these different starters and you know they're going to show them kind of up close and personal i love the detail that they showed in the video um it's kind of like a painting if you will uh i do wonder like why did they show kind of an investigator or something or like a detective you know they totally let us on like it was like detective pikachu and all that what does that have to do with this generation you know it's going to be very very interesting to see uh what that what that means and you know we've got as we know, Pokemon Scarlet and then Pokemon Violet, I mean, it's it's here. You know, it is here. The next generation of Pokemon is here. Let me know in the comments, guys, which one of these games, which starter, which game are you getting? But that's all we know about Pokemon Scarlet and Violet up to this point. Outside of that, Developed by Game Freak, obviously a new entry, releasing worldwide in late 2022. So we're getting two Pokemon games this year, plus we just got Brilliant Diamond and Shining Pearl. What a year, honestly, for Pokemon. Let me know in the comments, guys, what do you think about the all-new Pokemon games, right? Keep it right here. I will catch you all on the next video. For more Pokemon content, I'll be covering every little detail that comes out about Scarlet and Violet. Make sure you hit that subscribe button. I'll catch you all in the next one. Later!